Two new middle schools in Knox County are gearing up to open this fall. Hardin Valley Middle in West Knox County and Gibbs Middle in East Knox County. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith gives us our first look inside those new schools. Large spaces and inviting learning atmospheres are the new normal for Gibbs Middle and Hardin Valley Middle. And while on opposite sides of Knox County, both the new middle schools will have state of the art facilities for students to start learning in this fall. Knox County's newest middle schools are getting their finishing touches before they open to teachers next month. Hardin Valley Middle and Gibbs Middle are now the most state of the art campuses in the county. They cost a combined $58 million to build. They're going to be so excited for the technology that's been put in place um, and just have something new to go to. Each campus is equipped with all LED light bulbs, motion activated lights in each classroom, acoustically designed choral and band rooms, art classes with kilns for pottery work, and spacious media centers. Every kid's going to have a Chromebook that they can, that they can take home with them. Gibbs Middle also has an auditorium and an art gallery. Every classroom will have an interactive flat screen, um, which is awesome. Principal Cindy White says it's unlike any school she's ever seen. The kids are excited, the parents, the community, and the teachers are very excited. I mean, they're already working right now. We, 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 can't, we can't hold them off. Hardin Valley can hold up to 1,200 students, and Gibbs can hold about 800. Staff expect those numbers to be lower this fall, but increase as those communities continue to grow. Both schools will open with a ribbon cutting on July 10th, looking forward to starting their school year this fall. In East Knox County, I'm Shannon Smith. Back to you. Shannon, thank you. And before school does start, both schools will host open houses for each grade level. Those dates are set in August, and we'll post them at WBIR.com.